Thanks for finding Like a Hawk. Hope things are going well for all of you. Maybe preparing for Thanksgiving if you live in the U.S. Today is Wrestling Wednesday and don't adjust your computer monitors. I have a mailbox out because I have enough mail that I've been collecting for a while to do a wrestling mail day only. So um, we'll see how many of these I can do. But uh, let's just get into this right away. So picked up some eBay winnings. And the first one I was kind of excited about, this is a Lita Edge Dual Auto numbered out of 200, 17 out of 200 hand numbered. Double trouble, I'm not sure what set this is out of, but the price for this was only 20 bucks. I figured for Lita Edge on card, Dual Auto for 20 bucks, I couldn't pass that up. So decided to go for that, heck of a deal. I believe I even did um, an offer. So I highly suggest if someone says best offer, don't lowball them, but you know, lowball offer means that there's some leeway there. So maybe go 20 to 30% below the price and see if you can get a good deal. Um, so I also finally completed, I don't have a 101, but I finally completed the Bray Wyatt Rainbow from Undisputed. So this is the regular card of Bray Wyatt. And as you may or may not know, Bray Wyatt is my probably my favorite male wrestler right now. Uh, this is the out of five. This is four out of five base card. This is the eight out of ten yellow parallel. This is out of the twenty out of twenty-five parallel, the blue three out of twenty-five. This is the green twenty-five out of fifty. And then the orange three out of ninety-nine. So that is the Bray Wyatt Rainbow from Undisputed this year. Um, decided to go for it because I saw the 10 and the 5 at a pretty reasonable um, pretty reasonable price and decided to start going for it. And it was fun to collect the rainbow, probably my first I've ever done. So the first package in Mail Day is going to be Tops Now. Now if you're unfamiliar with Tops Now, this is the Tops Online Only product that you can get. And they do these tops now after, I think it's after each pay-per-view. So let's see which pay-per-view these tops now cards are from. So this is packaged in here very nicely. You get it in this plastic container. And usually in the pay-per-views, if you want, you can get all four cards for a deal over if you're just going to buy them individually. So we have... The Money in the Bank card. So this is uh, Alexa Bliss winning the Money in the Bank. The reason I got this set is because I was actually there live in person to watch this stuff happen. And in fact, I'm going to have to look over this AJ Styles Nakamura card because somewhere right around here, I think I am visible. So I'll have to take a magnifying glass and check that out. These are two other cards to complete the set. So this is Alexa Bliss cashing in right away to win the championship. Very surprising. And then Braun hovering over everyone carrying the Money in the Bank briefcase. So that was the Tops Now cards from Money in the Bank. Um, I also decided to do some more Tops Now. And let's see what this one, this one is from. So this one, again, packaged very nicely by Tops. Go ahead and open this up. Okay, so this is actually um, Ronda Rousey's first ever Topps Wrestling card. So this is the Topps Now. If you notice, this was from WrestleMania, April 8th. And there's the back of that. It's got the nice hollow foil on it. I think this was... Might have been the, the most ever printed Tops Now wrestling card. So I guess this might be Ronda Rousey's true rookie card. Um, I'll give you a, I'll let you wonder where they used that pick. Have I seen this pick somewhere before? I'll just let you think about that for a little bit. So um, this was the Ronda Rousey Tops Now rookie card. So excited to add that to my collection. And then the last Tops Now that I got. I believe is going to be from Wrestlemania. Uh, actually, yeah, I think this was Wrestlemania. Let's see what we got here. 
So another Tops Now, very nice packaging in here. So this is, yes, this is from WrestleMania. So let me tell you the reasoning behind some of these cards and why I bought this. So I bought this one because this is Nicholas's rookie card. Uh, it was too bad. I think he wanted too much money, so he's not visible in the picture, but it does reference Braun Strowman and Nicholas defeating Sheamus and Cesaro to win the, the Raw Tag Team Championship. So this is a Nicholas rookie card. Um, again, it has those the tops holograms in the back. Um, I also picked up nice Undertaker versus Cena. I just like that picture of the Undertaker so much, so I decided to pick up that. And because they were part of the Wyatt family, and I thought that a lot of people weren't going to order this card. This is the Bludgeon Brothers defeating the Usos and New Day to win the Tag Team Championships. I think the print run on this card is only 60-something, 60 67 maybe. Um, so I tried to get a short print. And these are glossy. These are you know high higher quality than the stuff that you normally would get from Tops. I wish their base set would be like this, but um, I know it would be way too expensive to make a base set like that so those were the tops now cards that i had so if you're interested whenever there's a pay-per-view probably the, the next day or so uh go to the tops website tops.com website and see uh, if you can get one of those one of those tops now cards so the next card out of the mail day is going to be Okay, so this was something I was sitting on for a while. It was on eBay for a long time. This is a Sasha Banks Bailey Undisputed Auto out of 25. Now, I know Bailey, I don't know what happened to Bailey, if she had a hand cramp or what the heck was going on there. Um, Bailey usually does a very good job with her autographs, and this is probably why I got this for as cheap as I did. Um, but I haven't seen this pop up too much. And, of course, as you may or may not know, these are my two favorite, favorite female wrestlers. So I had to jump on something that would have both of their autos on one card. And this is numbered 7 out of 25. So had to pick that up. Very nice to add that to my collection. Um, I may prop that up again on a wrestling on the back of the wrestling set now the final thing that i'm going to show here is i know this looks like thanos and it is supposed to be thanos this is a marvel and wwe mashup now i went to etsy's website and i highly recommend if you like these mashups if you like what you're going to see in this product to go ahead and go there they have some terrific artists um one of the, I got this from Etsy. This is the Macho Man as Kool-Aid Man saying, oh yeah, because that's what uh, Macho Man always said, and that's what Kool-Aid Man said, so that was a mashup there. But this is a mashup of Marvel and WWE, and as soon as I saw it, I had to buy it. This is John Cena holding the Infinity Gauntlet as Thanos. Had to pick this up. This is 8th Wonder Pins, so they are on Etsy. Um, I checked. They no longer have or are making these. I don't know what the print one run was on this. Um, and I'm not sure. I think they've done wrestling pins before. But uh, with this mashup, I had to get John Cena as Thanos holding the Infinity Gauntlet, saying, you can't see me with the Infinity Gauntlet out like that. So wanted to show that off. And been waiting to show this off for a while, as you can tell. So until I collect more wrestling items for my next mail day, this may be the one, the next one I'm going to have, might be for a couple months. So we'll see. But uh, I appreciate you checking out this video. If you liked the video, hit that like button below. If you want to be part of the giveaways, hit that subscribe button below. This is the last video I am going to post before I do the 250 subscriber giveaway. So if you still want to get in on that, you have until Thursday at about six to eight central to get your entry in and then i will be doing the drawing uh and posting that in friday's break and of course your social media instagram and twitter at like a hawk cards all one word i hope you have a lot of luck in your next break and thanks for watching like a hawk